Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and in today's video I want to take a look at World of Warcraft April Fool's patch notes because I feel like there's something that Blizzard is hiding in them. What if there's a possibility that Blizzard is hiding an actual feature, maybe more than one? The reason I want to take a look at the April Fool's patch notes is because, well, remember Mr. Pandaria? The whole expansion of pandas? That started, the idea of a Pandaren and in essence Pandaria started as an April Fool's joke. I know the Blizzard likes to go in and make April Fool's patch notes and they have ridiculous things like every time a rogue uses fan of knives now they have to go pick up every single one of the knives before you can use the ability again. And we all get a good laugh out of all of these patch notes and uh, all the jokes on April Fool's but what if I told you that Pandaria came from an actual April Fool's joke or at least the idea of pandas. Back in Warcraft 3 as far as I can understand because I didn't live back then all I could do is read from what is online Back in Mr. Pandaria, back in uh, Warcraft 3, Pandaren came in April Fool's update or something. Pandaren and the idea of pandas was stuck in the game as an April Fool's joke. And we saw our very first Brewmaster. I don't think anybody expected for Brewmasters to now be a playable class and Pandaren a playable race in World of Warcraft way back when this was uh, added. But some players saw the April Fool's of Pandaren and Pandaria and they were like, yes! Let's do it. Blizzard saw the response and said, yes, let's do it. And then we did it. And everybody was like, is this a joke? Is this actually a joke? So I feel like this is because we had an expansion that kind of origin itself, the origin story of this Marvel superhero, April Fool's patch notes. I feel like it's definitely worth taking a look at the April Fool's patch notes to see maybe there's a possible game mode, especially for PvP, that is hiding somewhere in the notes. But Blizzard just throwing it out there because it's a safe bet. You throw it out as a joke and they're like, ha it's not like we're going to make this stuff anyway, have fun. But maybe what if they're just sitting back and just watching what the players are saying. Maybe they're kind of trying to see the feedback from players because it's not like Blizzard goes up and say, would you guys like this? Would you guys like this? Would you guys like this? It's more like they just come up with ideas and bam, here we go. That's new expansion. Hey, here we go. New patch. Here we go. This, here we go. That. April Fool's is a perfect time to just kind of throw ideas that somebody, let's say, some intern had way, way back a couple of months ago just to see what people say. Maybe they'll actually want it and maybe you can actually make it into the game. So I want to take a look mostly at the, <laughs> the new feature, Battle Royale Battlegrounds. Now, of course, it's a joke on Fortnite, PUBG, the Battle Royale games that have been, I felt like popular for so long, but they are even more popular now than they were a couple of years ago. And I felt like a couple of years ago, they were still popular even back then. So when you read the patch notes, it says, drop in a massive free-for-all where you and 99 other unknown players will battle to be the last one standing. Everyone starts each round with no equipment, talent, or class abilities. You will have to find them hidden around the map or take them from your opponents to survive. Earn exciting new rewards like special cosmetic gear, new Fortnite title, and more. Coming soon to Android and iOS. Now, the, second two, uh, the last two bulletins are jokes and they're not serious, but the first two... What if you actually had a battle royale type mode where you drop in with 99 other players, 100 players free for all, like a world PvP situation, but that forces you to engage each other primarily on PvP basis, and you start as a blank slate character. You don't start as a priest. You don't start as a warrior. Well, you are your class, but let's say you go in and you find a chest, and in that chest there could be Shadow Ward Pain and some leather gear. You are a warrior, so you would want plate and want warrior abilities. But what if you start as a clean slate, like a, a blank class, and you can use any class ability, any class talent, any class gear that you find in a battle royale mode? Imagine being a rogue and you find a couple of rogue abilities, like let's say mutilate, poisons, and a shadow step. And you can at least do damage and move around. And then you have a bunch of leather with some plate gear, because uh, so you found you find a priest. You go to nuke that priest. He doesn't have any gear. He goes down fairly quickly. Now you have a Scythiend. You can summon a Scythiend as a rogue. And I think that kind of randomness, that kind of variety for PvP would be insane. Blizzard added a few world quests where you have free-for-all PvP. And they were actually pretty popular at the very beginning of the expansion. But as more legendaries came around, as more tier sets came around, and PvE gear kind of just corrupted the idea of world PvP and stat templates and lack thereof of them corrupted world PvP. I felt like the idea of free for all was awesome. Horde or Alliance, they're getting a licking. They're gonna take, a, you're gonna be able to smack them around either way. So that was really, really cool. And you had all these other aspects like 
one of the world quests had mounts so you could knock each other around or root each other or have a bear mount so you don't move anywhere. Another one where you can join murlocs and fight against other players and join this third faction of murlocs for a short moment with strong spells but like real weak uh, weak health bars. Then there was another one with um, you just jump into an arena and the more people you kill, the stronger you get but the uh, more damage you take at the same time. So it's all about trying to get the buff rolling. Like these are actually super, super fun and they are a blast when it comes to world PvP. But then again, PvE gear kind of just uh, took it over and made it less fun. With BFA and how they're going to be functioning, this sounds to me like a scenario type of thing. Let's imagine this is a real feature. They could obviously add this into a BG with stat templates for your class. Or some kind of a blank stat template for everybody since you start as a blank slate character. I think it'd be kind of cool. I think it would allow players to explore different abilities and explore. Because I think a lot of people wanted always to... Maybe play a, maybe a private server or a version of World of Warcraft where they could combine abilities and really customize yourself. Like, there are some servers out there where you start as a classless character and you can choose whatever classes and talents of anything you want and you can really customize your own character, your own class. So you could be like a rogue with a lot of shadow piece abilities and dots. Or you could be a mage with a lot of melee abilities. So you have the blink, but you also have like uh, frost, death knight, and let's say shaman abilities to melee enemies. So you're like this spell binder or whatever. You still cast it, but you melee mage now or something like that. Something that allows people to play around with customizability and uh, fantasies. And this would allow players to that are really, really good at PvP to take advantage of every single ability, every single piece of gear, every single talent that they collect, and really figure out exactly what they want. This would actually be a really, really cool game mode. I could honestly see something like this. I would want something like this. I actually would support something like this. Now, I know, again, this is April Fool's joke. They are totally not making this a real thing. But if they did, I'd be okay with that. If they did... I'd be okay with that. I actually would be, uh, I'd be, I'd be super cool. Let's say somebody goes in for PvP. This is, again, one of those things where people will be able to always adapt. You don't always play your same class. You don't always go against a specific team comp and arena. And you will always have a specific play style. It pays off to have alts. It pays off to know the game from in-depth. So you can find ways and interesting ways to use your different abilities in World of Warcraft. And find interesting combos at a random like it'll all be rng but it's rng for everybody so it could be uh, fair and i think it honestly could be a very very fun mode the whole idea of battle royales is popular people love the idea of battle royales if they could somehow integrate that into world of warcraft and find a new spin for themselves about it that'd be awesome i love the idea of just being able to have any equipment any talents you find any class abilities so it's like the best players that know all the classes in the game know how abilities function know how talents function we'll be able to find a way to kind of combo it all together i think it'll be honestly awesome and insane i i would love it i would love it i'm kind of hoping that this is one of those things like mr pandaria where the expansion kind of came around from an april fool's joke and this is just an april fool's thing haha <laughs> it's just funny but I'm really hoping the rest of the community are like, yes, I actually would be down for it. Because I actually would love it. I actually would love a Battle Royale World of Warcraft style. I think it would be an awesome way. And I think it would be a fun, casual way to PvP. A new way to PvP. I love what they did with the new Battleground of Seed and Shore. In a way, that game, that Battleground feels almost like a Battle Royale type of game. You drop in from the top like uh, like you do in other Battle Royale games. It's a, it seems like a lot faster of a game. There's a lot of nodes. There's a lot of open space, so it doesn't feel like a arena or a, uh, a BG. It feels more open world, like a world PvP area. And there's so many objectives, so many things you can do, and so much freedom, so much creativity to the map itself. And I absolutely love that. So if they could take that map, make it like 10 times bigger, and then take it one step further to make it no classes, no talents, everything blank, blank slate, drops in, whatever you pick up is whatever you pick up, make, the, make do with what you got. I think it would honestly be awesome. I would love something like this in a game. I honestly would. So anyway, I just want to let you guys know about this, and let me know your thoughts about the idea of Battle Royale in World of Warcraft. I honestly would love it. As somebody who PvPs uh, pretty regularly, this would be great. This would be awesome. This sounds like just a ton of fun. And I feel like it would actually be good for the game. Uh, I know, yeah, people will say you're copying Battle, Roy uh, Battle Royale games, Fortnite, PUBG, whatever. But I feel like Blizzard always knows how to put their spin on things. Remember Overwatch and um, people were complaining about, what was it, um, Team, Team Fortress? I think Blizzard will do just fine if they were to take this on. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, 
to help my channel grow as it allows my channel to reach a wider audience subscribe but sometimes it's not enough but to try to get two videos a day from me but of course youtube is just not perfect of a system apparently subscribing to the channel is not enough so hitting the notification bell down below will allow you to always get my videos every single time i put out as soon as they go live as well as allow you to catch the live streams as soon as they go live thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see all of you in another video